after a while, I became popular because I was the only one that had this disco music. And so by 77, by 1977, I mean, the, kind of the whole South Side, especially High Park, South Shore, Peel Hill, Jackson Highlands, all in that area, they was all into this music. And so uh, I was getting uh, so many gigs, I, I was like, I need some help. And so my, I got my brother to help me uh, do it, uh, Jesse Saunders, my stepbrother. And uh, he's the first one I got to help me play this music. Mm. Now, before Jesse, I had started this group called the Cho, uh, the Few Disco Corporation, and um, uh, I had classmates from Mendo, uh, Batman. AK, uh, his name is Robert Ellis, aka Batman, and Jamie Shelton, who designed the flyers, and uh, and then Ewart was a part of the very first crew, but then. I was the only one, once I changed over to play this disco music, you didn't want no parts of that <laughs> either. And so uh, I was kind of on my own. And then I started, once I said I need some help, I said I, I'm going to come up with a new group of just DJs. And that's when I started The Chosen Few. And uh, I got, Jesse was my first DJ. Um, I've always been good at reading the room. I guess that comes from playing so many parties, you know, and doing so many clubs and high schools and college parties and basement parties and lofts and racquetball clubs and lay point towers and you know you just I'm a people person and so I read I read I've been doing it my whole life so it's easy for me to read a crowd you know I think any good DJ is going to know how to do that you know I'm very spontaneous, very spontaneous. I, I know some the records that I want to get to, you know? You know, like you go digging, you find music, and, and then, you know, man, this is a hot record. I can't wait to play this record or whatever. So I know those records are on deck somewhere mm -hmm. in, in, in the time that I'm going to play. But when and where, I, it's very spontaneous. It's always feel for me. It's always about the dancers for me, you know? And so, um, yeah, uh, I barely, rarely, I've never programmed. I, I tell you a couple things a lot of people don't know. I've never practiced, right? You know, our DJs have equipment at home and they practice. I've never done that, right? And in fact, when I did get equipment, I put it on my brother's house, because at that point, by the time I bought equipment, mm. you, know, I knew how to, you know, I knew how to DJ. I gave, I put it over Jesse's house so he could learn, you know. And then after Jesse, I, we put it, I put it over Tony's house. But I've never practiced, you know. And um, that's funny. I've never said that or talked to anybody about that. But anyway, um, and the other thing, I've never uh, programmed the set beforehand. You know, everything is has always been on feel, and uh, just like you say from the very beginning, mm -hmm. reading the crowd and. Uh, and going off the vibe of the crowd and the dancers, you know. Um, I'm prepared, though. I'm very prepared. I know I, I have all the music, right? Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that I, you know, I just made sure. I've been digging all my life finding music, great music. And so I'm very prepared. Like, even when I, when I was playing vinyl, I, I'd bring, you know, some DJs would bring a couple crates. I'd bring, like, 12 or 15 crates of records, you know. So I'm, all, I'm very prepared, you know. And but so when I know I want to get somewhere or go somewhere, I, I would go there and I would play. You know, my musical selection was never just one. It was always disco, but disco can go in different places as well as house music can go in different places. And so, and, and then not only that, I would play. Uh, you know, certain records like uh, uh, pump pump records and electronic records like. Trans Europe Express, and uh, and I would play uh, records like Mesopotamia and B-52s and Queen, Don't Try Suicide. I mean, I went all over the place, you know. Um, very experimental as a DJ as well, willing to go there and kind of like shock the crowd kind of uh, um, with, with music and records, you know. So, and I think that's one thing that people know about me. They know 
to expect the unexpected when I DJ. I'll have a remix that don't nobody else have, you know. I'll have an edit that don't nobody else have, you know. So um, I really look for for things like that. And I'm like, wow, how you, man, what is that? I never heard that before. I never heard that mix before, that edit, you know. And so I'm, I've always done that my whole life, too.